Richard Southern joins us now with the day's top business stories. Many Torontonians were cracking open a beer and toasting the warm weather over the long weekend. But at the same time, local breweries are scrambling, Richard. Yeah, it's the case, Erica, of the missing beer bottles. Turns out we're not bringing back our, our empties during the pandemic, you know, like, like we were before. Steam Whistle, one of the big local breweries, is now putting out an urgent request for you to bring your empties back like ASAP. Steam Whistle says beer buying habits have changed amid the pandemic. People are buying, they say, beer less frequently. And then when they do buy it, they buy a larger amount. So the end result is that we're hoarding more bottles at home than ever before. And we're not bringing them back. It's usually the case that people do kind of hoard bottles over the winter months, but then spring comes along and they bring them back. We're not seeing that uh, this spring. Steam Whistle says it, it's also facing delays in buying new bottles because of pandemic-related supply issues. So desperate, Erica, is Steam Whistle for your empties that they're saying they will actually drive to your house and pick them <laughs> up for you. So interesting, don't you think, knock-on effect there to the pandemic that we're yeah. not returning our bottles. Definitely, and I know there's some viewers out there like looking at their counter, seeing those empty bottles. Bring those back, please. <laughs> okay, Get your uh, money back, why not? Yeah. Yeah. Um, it appears Toronto residents have become more generous during this pandemic. Yeah, we're tipping more, Eric. Have you found that to be the case when you get takeout yes. or delivery? Uh, yeah, yeah, 15 to 20%. Look at you. Yeah. I should do your next uh, Uber <laughs> delivery. You call me, Erica. I'm when a you're, former when server. You're yeah, I know, this, I know the struggle. You know, they really rely on it. Absolutely. You know better than anyone. Uh, but it turns out that, yeah, we, we've been pretty generous over the, over the, uh, the past 14 months. Data uh, processing or uh, a money processing firm Square finds that those in the GTA are tipping now on average 20 to 22 percent. That's up from 16.5% in March of last year. So we've gone from 16.5% as the average tip to 20% or more now. And of course, this comes with indoor dining and bars having been largely closed. Usually we pay more, we tip more when we're getting table service, but obviously we're opening up our wallet now, Erica, for takeout and delivery, and why not? Those people have worked very hard indeed. And we're all going to be going, uh, you know, when eventually, you know, those restaurants open up back up, back up again. I hope. Uh, one of the stars of the Food Network is rolling in dough both literally <laughs> and figuratively, Richard. I mean, you never miss him, right, with his frosted tips and his backward sunglasses Hi, and his Marley. goatee Marley. and it's Guy Fieri and, of course, Marley. famous for his diners, drive-ins and dives where he goes around to restaurants and he tries their food and he stuffs it in his mouth. Anyways, no one's laughing anymore because Fieri, Erica, has become one of the highest paid personalities on TV. He has just signed a new deal with the Food Network that will pay him 80 million over three years. It sounds like a lot until you realize how much money this Triple D show makes the Food Network. It reportedly brought in 230 million in ad revenue just last year alone. It's a cash cow for the Food Network and so they're looking to lock Fieri up. To put it in perspective, he making he's making about 26 million a year. If he were in the NFL, he'd be the 15th highest paid player in the league. Erica, we need some new uh, uh, representatives. We need a deal so. like that. Yeah, can we land an $80 million contract? I don't know about that. All right. Uh, Good on is, Fieri, though. Yes. All right. Yeah. Congrats. <laughs> uh, okay, uh, this is Senator Richard Southern. Thanks, Richard. See you tomorrow.